say hello to me in the chat box so i can see your comments as well so we are going to discuss the inict may 2023 questions for ent that were asked in the exam so i hope everyone's paper went well ent questions were particularly very interesting okay so we'll discuss these questions one by one right okay let's start the first question you know and this is a repeat question arrange the sequence of artery pathway from peripheral to central and this question is a repeat question it has been asked multiple times and the best thing about this question was in this exam this question got repeated twice so one question double the number of marks wow okay so we have been discussing the mnemonic over here multiple times e coli ma okay artery pathway so you see over here e coli ma so inferior colliculus you can pay place over here i have been telling you this okay cochlear nucleus in place over here that was b and then artery cortex was c over here that you can place and medial geniculate body was d so that was the answer b a d c and this question so you know question number 1 into 2 times this question came twice so there was some technical glitch over there i heard two or three question in fact had the answer in some of the terms they the answer was showing that was another technical glitch that i saw some students they told me right okay and uh, this question has been repeated i think this is a favorite topic of uh, aims examiners i n i c t examiners so it was asked in the aims may 2019 and the i n i c t june 22 twice this question has been asked in your exams it was asked once again today right so the answer over here was b a d c so arrange in the sequence order let's go to the next question very interesting question and uh, i know this question is going to have a uh, multiple controversial answer by different faculties because the language over here is little bit you know tricky over here so i am again saying this question is going to get you will get different answer from different faculties and that's because the question is not complete or question is not that uh, clear to everyone why let's look over here and i'll share my thoughts on this question with you a 14 year old girl is unable to understand words but has normal speech and language okay so that means she is not able to hear she is not able to understand the words but has normal speech and language so that automatically tells you that this girl is post has having post lingual deafness so we have we understand there are two types of deafness prelingual deafness and post lingual deafness okay so this girl is having post lingual deafness there is no congenital anomaly in this patient okay right something that has happened has happened post deafness her pyoton audiometry and abr shows inconsistent results cortical responses were absent so this is very important what is the most likely diagnosis now let's look at the choices uh, cochlear otosclerosis malingering michel's aplasia and artery neuropathy you know michel's aplasia is absence of cochlea so that's a congenital anomaly all right if that is there she will not develop any kind of language right so michel's aplasia is definitely out over here right now this girl is having problem in abr the abr results are inconsistent now if the a she malingering patient is saying false things so patient when the patient is saying false things now in that case the pyoton audiometry may be inconsistent because that is subjective test but abr is an objective test that will show particular waves the wave pattern as we know right so wave 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so they will be visible in the abr but over here the abr is also inconsistent so malingering is also out right now there are two confusion left what is cochlear otosclerosis or is audiometry now cochlear otosclerosis it generally has conductive hearing loss sometime it can also have sensory neuro hearing loss and this sensory neuro hearing loss is a cochlear type of hearing right now when that is there now you see the cortical responses were absent that is something you will not find okay so it has nothing to do with the cortical responses and the avr yes when the cochlear deafness is there the waves will be absent okay but it will not the result will not be that it has inconsistent results so something like that is seen in one condition which is known as auditory neuropathy right auditory neuropathy can be both congenital as well as technical the right answer to this question is auditory neuropathy i was having a discussion and some people were saying no 
uh, it, it should be cochlear autosclerosis. But in cochlear autosclerosis, what I believe is that the cortical responses will not be absent, number one. And number two, auditory neuropathy can be both congenital as well as acquired. So the answer to this question is, in my opinion, auditory neuropathy. Right. So that was a very interesting question. Then we had another repeat question. Uh, this question was there. It's a overlapping question between and ophthalmology. We use this block. It was a question on the block of the face. We use this block consistently for our rhinoplasty surgeries, right? So, and the nerve supply is coming to the orbit. So, it's a, it's a overlapping question between ENT and ophthalmology. So, choose procedure done in the following given image, right? And this is a very tricky question, you know, why many a times we have this tendency to mark the answer over here as anterior ethmoidal model block. So, what we have to do is very look very carefully. Now, if in your exact question, this is the medial canthus, if the block is open above the medial canthus, then your answer is, I have discussed this in my answers also, okay. So, yes, so if, if the block is below the medial canthus, then the answer is anterior model block, okay. So, just remember, if it is below the medial canthus, it is anterior model block, right. And if it is above the medial canthus, then it is nasociliary block. So, as you can see over here, in this photograph, it is right above the medial canthus. So answer over here definitely will be the nasociliary block. Right? Okay. So, that was the answer in this question. Pretty straightforward question. It is again a repeat question. It was asked in the INICT July 2021 question and I have discussed. Or uh, this question earlier as well. Right. Okay. Now, another interesting question. This was a clinical question given over here. This time, a South Indian female, farm worker by occupation. You see, some typical history findings were given over here. Specifically mentioned South Indian female, farm worker by occupation with history of contact with cattle. Presented as shown below in. So, what do you see over here? You can see over here in this photograph, there is a polypoidal mass. Okay, polypoidal mass. And as you can see over here, this is a mulberry shaped mass. Right? So even if you are not able to identify as a mulberry shaped mass, all you can see that this is a polypoidal mass. And then a histopathology image is given. So what can you detect from all this, from the history? from this clinical photograph, from the histopathology. So, what can you see over there? So, see one by one, female, Indian female, South Indian female, farm worker, history of contact with cattle. What disease do you remember? Let's look at the choices. So, I have only three choices till now. I am still missing the fourth option over here, right? So, please, uh, you can just uh, tell me, yes, Let's look at the options. Let's look at why we have come to this question. Why we have come to this answer. You see, rhinosporidiosis. We all know rhinosporidiosis is common in southern coastal India. Southern coastal India. So that is that is one thing which is pointing. You see, so south southern South Indian female. One thing, and this disease, it is found in cattle dung. Okay, human beings are accidental hosts. So, cattle, south, India, two things, two, two hints which are taking you directly towards your answer of rhinosporidiosum. But sometimes the examiner may give you something which is tricky. You see, you can see over here, this is in the nose, there is a polypodal mass. We describe it like a strawberry like a mass, right? Okay, not a mulberry, but a strawberry like a mass. Many students were saying today to me, sir, it is mulberry. So that's why I've give, written the word over here, mulberry. But the actual word that we should use is a strawberry like mass because it sometimes bleeds when you touch it. And there is, there is white, yellow spots over there. Now, histopathology. Histopathology, it, this, this is what the histopathology actually look like. It look like that there are fungal septate spores over here. Sporidium kind of structure is seen. So that is why it was initially confused fungus, right? So the answer over here is rhinosporidium. Yes, yes, I agree with all of you. What you are saying in the chat, it is rhinosporidium. You have marked it. Correct. Very good. All right. Let's go to the next question over here. Now, 
very simple straightforward question was given to you identify the given okay so six question came in the exam and this is this is the sixth question actually the first question came twice so uh, that was a easy straightforward repeat question and this question is again a straightforward repeat question we can see over here that there is a mucus cyst which is arising from the floor of the mouth it is bulging in the floor of the mouth so what do you see the answer over here is okay it is ranula yes so that was the answer so these questions they came in today's exam and these are all straightforward questions number one so you see ENT was pretty easy. I'll say that straightforward repeat questions were there all right only uh, two or three questions which were two question were there which were new question but again they were from the previous year topics they have been asked multiple time in the exam and they were straightforward clinical questions so it was a pretty easy straightforward question from ENT aspect so I wish you all best of luck and remember the remaining subjects are being discussed in the Allen Next app. So I'll request everyone to download, install the Allen Next app and you can watch the discussion of all the subject in the app. And even this discussion will also be available in the app for all of you to watch for free. Right? So see you all. We are coming up with some more uh, sessions in Delhi, okay, both online as well as offline in Delhi, Hyderabad, Bangalore. Chennai. So we're coming up with different sessions, both online as well as offline. We'll also coming up with some counseling sessions for you, for people who have cleared the exam or who are going to clear the INICT and pick up a seat over here. So see, you have some confusion. We'll be coming up with those sessions for you. So we'll see you all, meet you all very soon. Best of luck for your studies.